We were like them that dream. When God turns around a young person in a meeting like this or wherever you might go and get encountered with the gospel, all of a sudden, wisdom starts creeping into your life and all of a sudden, ideas begin to get real in your spirit and all of a sudden, you begin to dream. You know what's wrong with a a handful of young people in this group this morning? You are ignorant about what God has for you because you can't dream about what you do not have as your purpose. He said, we, when God touched us, God turned us around and we started in his direction. We were as those who began to dream. You don't need knowledge without wisdom hooked to understanding. Good to get wisdom, go to Yale, go to Harvard, go to Georgia, go to Tech. Don't go to North Carolina. Go in, go in anywhere you want to and get wisdom. But if the wisdom does not kick in your dreamer, then all you have is knowledge rattling around in an empty cage. You need wisdom. Listen to me. You do not have to have everybody to help you or to like you. I don't. You do not need everybody to help you or to like you. You only need one person to give you an idea to change your life. So don't be discouraged because time after time God's never failed you. Go on and climb. them waters parted. Amen. And the angel of the Lord said, come on in, children. The water's fine. Come on, son. So Moses and the children of Israel, some they walk through the Red Sea. Water's all around them. God's all around them. Victory's all around them. And when the last one, when the caboose, I mean, I mean, when the last one, when the last one makes it out, whatever God did, he undid Whatever God used to plug it up, he unplugged it, but not before. Now, y'all stay right here. I can see the children of Israel, they're on the other side. And well, over here's Pharaoh, and he's looking at that trench, and he's going, my God, if a bunch of Jews can do it, if a bunch of Semites can do it, if a bunch of them peculiar people can do it, surely mine can do it. And I see Moses as he's over on his side, as he said, bring it on, big boy. Bring it on, big boy. I'll double D dog. He probably went up there and said, cross that line. And here comes Pharaoh and his army and God waits till they get in the middle and God pulls the plug. God undoes what he did and that water came crashing down and all of a sudden there's floating horses, there's sinking chariots, there's dead bodies everywhere. Hey, who's the fool now? Who's the oddball now? Oh, Pharaoh's not laughing now because this side, Amen. Is on the winning side. Yes, amen. I said this side is on the winning side. Yes. I said this side is on the winning yes, side. Amen. 
It may be hard on this side. The world may persecute you on this side. The world may make fun of you on this side. You may have to give up some things on this side. But my God Almighty, it's better than dying and going to hell on the other side. Because this side is the winning side. For saving my soul, thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for. decision that you make tonight will affect that fellowship that you have with Jesus. It's not that Jesus leaves you. It's you leave him. He's still at the same place he always was. The place of mercy. The place of goodness. The place of grace. The place of kindness. The place of forgiveness. But when you make the wrong choice and you come to the place of decision and you say, preacher, not me, not this meeting, not right now. There's still some stuff that I want to do and I want to live my life for me and I want to do what I want to do. Then I promise you it will affect the fellowship that you could have had with Jesus Christ. You could have been in Canaan land eating off the grapes of another a country. You could have been around the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords walking in the fellowship of the Master. You could have been at the place where you knew he was walking with you every step of the way. You could have been at the spot where God met with you and he was going to touch you and he was going to set you apart. But because you came to that place of decision and you refused him, you wounded Jesus. And now he's standing there as you walk away. Is anything too hard for God? Who's got a problem beyond his power to solve? Are there situations that he's not the master of. I'm telling you, you can be the one that the devil says, try this. But if you're not careful, it'll be an older one that'll be talking about your life to a 12-year-old or a 10-year-old or your little brother hearing your music Mm -hmm. or your little sister seeing your Facebook and go, I want to be just like my big sister. Mm -hmm. My big (laughs) sister saying, try this. It's the world. Try this. It's the devil. Try my music. Try my life. It's away from Christ. We're all tempted, but if you're not careful, you'll be Eve offering the devil to someone around you. They was talking about how they're a Buddhist, Brother Greg. This little Buddhist woman, she was talking about how she carried around her God everywhere she went, and she was proud about that. She was proud that she could carry him around everywhere she went. She would carry him in her purse. She'd carry him, put him on a dashboard like he was a bobblehead doll. 
She carried him. She would even have this special necklace when she would go worship him that she would hold him around her neck and where he would dangle close to her heart. She was proud about that God that she could carry around everywhere she went. And God started speaking to my spirit. And I started thinking about, you know what? I'm about to have church tonight. I sure am glad that my God does not depend on me to carry him around. I'm glad, mm, hallelujah, I'm glad that I serve an almighty God that wherever I go, he's the one that's carrying me. I'm glad that a big God like that, He knows my name. Bless His holy name. Sing it out. He counts the stars one and all. He knows how much sand is on the shores. He sees every sparrow that falls. the mountains and the sea he's in control of everything of all creatures great and small and he knows my name every step that I take every move that I make and every tear that I cry and he knows my name tell you what's in store I don't know a lot of things I don't have all the answers to the questions of life but I know in whom I have believed and he 